So Danny, you had a really great season last year and made a remarkable transition from the junior ranks to the elite ranks on the downhill international circuit and placed eighth overall in the World Cup. Can you talk about that transition? I mean, that's a pretty unusually successful transition. What was behind that and what was it like for you? Yeah, like I had a good backing from my team and I was pretty nervous coming into the World Cups and being a senior, but not so. But in the end, it's not so bad because, like, when you're racing junior, you're always up there with up at the start with the top boys, and you know mm. I've been racing around all them guys for a long time, so I sort of know know the drill and know what to do. And but yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting to do such such a good season and. To come into it and do that, it was good for me. And it's, I, can't, I couldn't ask for much more. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, like I said, the backing from my team was great and the bike was great and mm -hmm. everything that came with it was awesome. And uh, yeah, I think the transition, you've just got to take it take it in your stride, not not get too nervous and not get too pumped up with it and just roll with it instead of getting all, you know, like I said, getting all mm -hmm. nervous and wild. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So going into this year, we've got all the World Cups coming, starting pretty soon in South Africa and going through a bunch of rounds and eventually culminating in the Worlds in uh, Switzerland in Champere. And I wonder what your thoughts were going into the Worlds. That's a notoriously challenging track, especially in the wet. Um, can you comment a little bit on your experience on that track and what your thoughts are going into it? Yeah, last season was my first season in Champere. And uh, yeah, I mean, the track's pretty crazy. It's steep and... Uh, so a few big jumps and needless to say I was quite intimidated going there from the hype and everyone saying how crazy it is and but you've just got to put that to one side and just do your own thing and not not yeah not li not listen to what everyone's saying pretty much you just take it as it comes and mm -hmm. just do your own thing and uh, yeah I, I love the track I mean it's a pretty you're at the top and you're nervous for every run it's like Mm. Right, I've got a task in front of me now. It's pretty. It's going to be hard, but when you're up there for world champs and it's just that one race, and it's going to be crazy for, for that one run. And mm -hmm. so all you've got to think about it. You've just got to do it mm -hmm. that race, and that's it, pretty much. You've just got to get your practicing done on the stick stuff, and good. it should be good. Good. I have one more question for you. Um, you're racing for the UK when you're at Worlds, and you guys have this just phenomenal talent coming out of there. And I've heard you say how it's hard just to make the team to get to Worlds. Can you talk a little bit about why the UK is so talented downhill and what it's like to have to just fight to get on your own Worlds team? Yeah, I mean, the UK were always pretty hotly contested for world selection, and then, uh, like, it's, like I said, we've got... Last year at Monsoon, I only had five of UK riders in the top ten, and uh, that just puts it into perspective how hard it is. And I think we've got a good group of riders because we're such a small country, and we all want the same thing, and we all just want to be the best at what we do. We're all pretty competitive, and <clears throat> we don't have the mountain ranges like <coughs> other other countries have, and mm -hmm. so we've got to really work for it, you know. And uh, our national series is pretty good, but and uh, yeah, we, we just work hard and dedication. I mean, there's so many young riders coming through, and I mean, you just look at the juniors. We've got some of the best juniors in the world, and mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing to see when you're coming through nationals and then you're coming through European like Maxis Cups. Mm -hmm. We all do the same thing. We all do nationals and go to Europe and then come to World Cups and then. We end up doing really well, so we must be doing something right along the line. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, and good luck this season. Thank you.